What's poppin' homies? It's your favorite homegirl gossip girl. So I have some information. Now, I told you guys I was going to stay on this case, and I mean it. I'm going to stay on this case. So today is Maxwell's court date. He did go to court, all right? He was in court, and he is still in custody. He is still in custody. Now, it says here, defendant waive preliminary hearing. Okay, preliminary hearing questionnaire and waiver received and filed. Court found probable cause and bound defendant over for trial. Defendant is advised this case is assigned to Judge Sanders, Branch 28. Original information received and filed. Copy given to defense counsel who waived reading. Defendant was arraigned in open court and pled not guilty. Court ordered case adjourned for scheduling conference in Branch 28. Scheduling conference scheduled for May 16th, 2024 at 1.30 p.m. So his judge is going to be Judge Sanders of Branch 28. But here is something else. There was a request for substitution. Okay. Request for substitution of judge received and file. Court Consented to substitution against Job Keys, Branch 45. Parties are advised the clerk of circuit court reassigned case pursuant to current court rules to Judge Sanders, Branch 28. Now, I'm not sure why he wanted a new judge or whoever put in a substitution for a new judge, but his original job was job, Judge Keys. In Branch 45, but now he has Judge Sanders in Branch 28. Okay, so I gave you the date and I gave you the time. It would be in the safety building, room 620. Description, scheduling conference, type, court. So that's the information I have right now that's updated on Maxwell Stephen Anderson. Hmm. Okay, so I also found something else while looking at his case. Now, 4-12-2024, a no-contact provision was ordered. Okay, the court ordered a no-contact with Sheena S. No contact, no weapons, order signed and filed. Now, Sheena is Sade's mom. The court ordered defendant to turn over to turned over to Justice Point for supervision level five, no possession of dangerous weapons or firearms. A cash bond was set on April 12th of 2024 for $5 million. Now we know that his father does have money, but I don't know if he has $5 million to get his son out. And I'm not sure he would do that. I'm not, I'm just saying he needs to sit there. First of all, they shouldn't even put out no cash bond for him. He should have just sat there with no bond, no bail, just waited out. So yeah, that's the other information that I'm, but I'm looking at. I just found out that he has a no contact provision ordered order. And that was no contact with Sheena S. All right. So that's all I have right now about his court date and all the updates. As for Sade, I think I did read somewhere that those remains that were near Lake Michigan, they did belong to Sade Robinson. And I feel like it's the police aren't doing enough because it just it's like the people that are finding these these things, it just it's regular people, you know. The police are not finding these things. Regular people are finding it. And then they'll go there and they'll try to like search the area. But there are people out there who are searching every single day, nonstop. And Sade, on Friday, Sade's parents and her family, they just had a visual for her for her on Friday. So once again, I send my, my condolences and prayers to the family because this is horrible. How do you go on a date with somebody, you know, and then they end up dead? car burned remains all over the place like that is really sick to me and i really do hope he gets the worst the worst punishment 
But his next court date, like I said, is May 16th. So, guys, I will keep you updated with information. You know, when I get it, you'll get it. All right. So I'll talk to you guys later.